So my wife is used to me waking up in the middle of the night going, ah, as I get a leg cramp and trying to hop out of bed and straighten it out. But she's not used to me waking up and laughing. So about 15 years ago, I woke up laughing in the middle of the night, and this is that story. But first, I'd like to take you way back to when I was 11, 12, 13 years old in Iowa, small town Iowa, farm boy in southeast Iowa. If you drove up Highway 1 from Kelowna, half a mile south of the cheese factory and looked in the long lane, you might see this skinny kid out there shooting a basketball all by himself. And if you had super ears or you drove in the lane and he didn't see you, you might hear, hear him narrating the game that he's playing in his head. Yoder gets the ball, Hawkeyes, because I was a Iowa Hawkeye fan. We lived just 15 miles south of Iowa City in the Iowa Hawkeyes. My friends, Dwight and James, had gotten me to hooked on listening to Iowa basketball. And the announcer was Ron Gardner with all of his wonderful expressions. 10 seconds left in the game. Yoder has the ball. He's dribbling up court. What's he going to do? He gives a shake. He gives a bake. He goes around him like they're wearing their five buckle over shoes. He scores with a reverse layup. Iowa wins. The Hawkeyes win 89 to 88. Pass in the hymn books. Turn out the lights. It is over, ladies and gentlemen. And that was Ron Gonder. And that was the, the way I would narrate my games. I checked with some of my friends with Dwight and James before I got ready to tell this story tonight. And they did the same thing. We were all superheroes in our dreams. I got to play high school basketball, was never very good. Could steal the ball from anybody, but couldn't shoot worth a nickel. Kept on playing as an adult. I'd play in Friday pickup games with a bunch of other teachers. Had a great time, loved it. And then in 2004, Christmas vacation, hurt my neck real bad playing basketball and had to have surgery the following spring, a laminectomy. And I remember that feeling when the surgeon said, your basketball days are done. Because it was a huge part of my life. Something I looked forward to every week that I enjoy. There's something so sweet about throwing a pass to an empty spot on the floor when you know that somebody is supposed to be there by the time the ball gets there and they're there. It's the best feeling in the world when you're playing basketball. So I started dreaming that I was playing basketball because I couldn't play. But in my dreams, I'd be playing basketball. And then somebody would come up to me and say, Daryl, what are you doing? You had neck surgery. You can't play basketball. And I'd had that same sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach all over again, and I'd have to quit. This happened numerous times. Every couple of weeks, I'd be playing basketball. Somebody would say, you got to quit, and I'd have to quit, staring me out. Then on an NPR program, I heard about lucid dreaming, about if you're aware of your dreams, you can change them. So there I am in my dream. I'm playing. Somebody comes up to me and says, Daryl, you had neck surgery. You got to quit. You can't play basketball. And I said, yes, I can. It's a dream. And every shot went in. I was shooting the lights out. Those nets must have been made of asbestos because they weren't burning up. I was dunking the ball. Women and children look out below. I was going around people like they were wearing their five buckle over shoes. I was scoring left and right, behind the back, between the legs. I was dunking. I never could dunk. I was dunking. It was the greatest game in the world. And I woke up laughing. And that's why I woke my wife up in the middle of the night with the lights out, laughing, because I had played basketball with the lights out. Every so often I get that dream again. It's the best dream in the world. Thanks for listening.